Hi, Enrico. Welcome to our first twin interview. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. You have an interesting shirt there. Yes, thanks for noticing. This is a batik. I bought it in Indonesia. Customers really appreciate this when I visit them in Jakarta. Why do you think that is? I think because I show respect, and respect leads to trust, which is the building block of any relationship anywhere in the world. Now, tell us, what did you want to do as a grown-up? I wanted to be a paleontologist, to travel the world in search of bones, but then Ross from friends convinced me that I'd better find something else. So you went in oil and gas? That's a way to put it. But no, I never really saw myself in oil and gas, but as an energy professional. You know, sell a good night's sleep. Not a mattress kind of argument. Ah, oh, better Netflix than Blockbuster. You're absolutely right. But I do love energy, especially the personal one. The one which makes everyone smile every day. You seem really proud of this. Yes, I am. I'm proud to work for an energy technology company. Energy to power the world and technology to make it more efficiently and with more respect for the environment. I do not see that we have a planet B at the moment. I assume you don't believe the Earth is flat. No, it's not flat. I live in three continents and nine countries. The Earth is not flat and certainly not a boring place. You seem passionate about your travel. Can you tell us why? What I love most is that while everyone focuses on the differences, we should really concentrate on what unites us. Give unconditional respect and you will be fine. As a leader, can you tell us another commonality you found everywhere? I'm repeating myself, but practically everyone wants to be respected. If you respect everyone, then you will enjoy the small differences which make us unique, and at the same time, you will enjoy infinite growth. This is very positive. Anything that you don't like? Excuses, lack of accountability is a huge anchor which will slow you down. Take responsibility for what you do and the sky will be the limit. How do you define your success every day? Absolutely. I act in the service of others. I work for my team, not vice versa. I'm not perfect, but people are patient, probably because I cook a, quite a good pizza. With pineapple? On this note, I think it's for time for me to go. <laughs> this has been an interesting conversation, but yes, your time is up. Uh, do you have any closing comments for us? Um, yes, I have a call to action. Be respectful, be kind, and be accountable in the service of others if you really want to achieve the impossible. Thank you. Well, thank you for being with us today.